Hello, I'm Deborah Cedillo Dugan, and welcome to another virtual report. The City of Phoenix has 17 Phoenix Public Libraries offering so many services and resources, especially during this COVID time. There's something that you probably don't know about, and it's the Kids Cafe. Geraldine Hills with the Phoenix Public Library is joining me now to talk about what wonderful resources and services they're offering for families in need. Hi, Jerry, how are you? Good morning, Deb. I'm so excited about this story. So tell me a little bit about the Kids Cafe and how long has it been around? Kids Cafe has been around, um, uh, you know, quite a few years actually. It is our partnership with the St. Mary's Food Bank Alliance. And, you know, um, previously, um, it would be where kids would come into the library, um, get a snack or a meal, and then do some type of fun reading or STEAM activity. Mm -hmm. And of course, that all had to stop back in uh, March. Well, at the beginning of June, we are really proud that, you know, again, reimagining how we serve our customers. And so now, in our partnership with St. Mary's, we have what we call grab and go meal, which is families with children zero to 18 can come by one of our 10 locations. So it's not at every library location, but it's at 10 of, 10 of them. And um, they can pick up a meal and a, and a hearty snack. Monday through Friday and during our curbside hours, which means you can come by in the mornings between like 8.30 and 10, or stop by in the evenings between five and seven, or even um, some locations are doing Saturdays. So, um, and it's free. Um, and we certainly encourage everyone to come by, stop by the library and make use of this really valuable resource for, um, any real details, best thing to do is, of course, start at our website, phoenixpubliclibrary.org, and all the individual locations and details are there. Well, that's great. And, you know, I want to ask about the actual criteria. And I, I think you did mention that anybody can come by uh, to, to receive that mail. There's there's not a certain um, uh, limit. And I'm, I'm sure it's one per person or one per family or however that, how does that work? What is the criteria? One child. So if a family has multiple children, they can come and pick up a meal per child. Um, there is a simple form you have to fill out just basically with your name and things, and that's for federal tracking because it is part of the um, uh, a federal feeding program. And um, But there is no charge. It's not a lengthy process. It's very simple. And again, um, it's one child, one meal package you can pick up. Okay, everybody's just want to know what is in that. I'm sure that the, the you know your dairy, your fruits, your veggies. Can you just give me an example of what it is. So, for an example, it may be a sandwich, some fruit, um, as you said, veggie sticks, um, milk. So it it is all the all the nutritional. It's all done on you know federal nutritional guidelines, and and so they're 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 nutritious snacks and meals that you can pick up and go and take home for the family. Well, I got to tell you, the Phoenix Public Library has not missed a beat, and um, especially during this COVID. And I'm sure your your numbers are actually rising. People are going on online and doing the digital. Uh, what about your summer reading? You do it every year, and I see you have the imagined our story right behind us. Give us a glimpse of what you're doing this summer. As always, so yes, um, summer reading, as you know, is a library across the country tradition. And everybody knows about reading for points and prizes, and we are certainly doing that this summer. Um, you can, again, it, we started June 1st, and it encourages families and um, adults, children, teens to read for about 20 minutes a day. The game board is available online. You can print it or you just log on and you can log your minutes. Um, if you log in every week, there are weekly prizes and drawings, so that's kind of fun to encourage you to get your 20 minutes in a day, you can do that. Um, and uh, so far, uh, we we have, a, you know, about four or 5,000 people signed up to join us. Um, we're really excited to do that. Um, and for another way this summer, we have a program called One Book, One Phoenix. And that, so imagine a citywide book club. And there are three options. There's an adult version, a teen version, and a child version. The adult is called Norse, Norse mythology um, for, adult, for adults, and they are unlimited access. So anyone who wants to download an e-copy of this book can go to our website and do it, and you're, we're not going to run out of copy. And then um, starting another week or so, we've got online programs 
some schedules for online book discussions, and we're bringing in some people from ASU to do discussions around the book and things like that. So again, there's still a lot of ways to have fun and interact with the library this summer. I love it. And you know, let's, of course we can't, we, be, we would be remiss if we didn't say how easy it is to get the library card. Can you walk us through that real quickly? Oh, absolutely. If you don't have a library card, don't panic because you can't come into one of our buildings. Just simply, again, go to that magical website, phoenixpubliclibrary.org, and you can sign up for an e-card. You sign up right away and you can start um, downloading and using all our e-resources immediately. That's wonderful. Jerry, thank you so much. You guys do such a fabulous job for our residents here in Phoenix. Um, I, and I know you have 17 Phoenix Public Libraries and I, it just the 10 that are doing the Kids Cafe. So I encourage They're doing the Kids Cafe. I Six encourage our viewers. Are offering curbside service. Um, uh, our uh, South Mountain location remains closed because it's on the, on the campus of South Mountain Community College. So whether you want to pick up books curbside, um, you know, stop and use our Kids Cafe or download and have fun. There's still tons of ways that for the community to interact with the library this summer, and we hope we do. Excellent, well, you did great work. Thank you so much for keeping everybody busy and keeping them engaged and, and um, having a lot of fun while, while they're doing it, especially during this, this time. It's great seeing you as always, Jerry. You too, thanks for, thanks for having me this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Cedillo-Dugan with Virtual Reporting.